action playlist, right? Speed equals distance over time. I'm going to chuck this ball on that dog and we're going to time how long it takes it to, uh, to get the ball. And we'll work out what the distance is, work out what the time is, and then we'll work out the speed of it. Really? Right. How long was that? Eight seconds. Eight seconds. Okay. Right. I'll see you back in the lab. See you back in the lab. bedroom. Come and have a look what I'm doing. So speed equals distance over time isn't it? And we threw, the ball was, it was a throw. So we do speed equals distance over time. So it was 20 meters and it took the ball two seconds to fly that far. So if we do 20 over 2 that's 10 meters a second if you're clever. And the dog, well, again, always set it out, do you? Equation, and that was 30 meters. The ball was uh, the dog ran, and the dog ran it in eight seconds. So, if we do that, that comes out as 3.75 meters per second. So, put the answer with the units. Now, here's a little bonus for you. We can actually do a distance time graph of that information. Right, always use a ruler. So I'll go up the side in equal amounts. One, two, three. So it's a distance time graph. So distance goes up the side. So that's 0, 10, 20, 30. And what is the greatest time that we've had? Uh, 8 seconds, right, I'll do this in centimetres and I know I've got to go at least up to 8, so I'll just go up to 10 for the lols, and I'll just pop a 0, I'll go up in 2's, you always make sure you go up by the same amount, 2, 4, 6, 8, and that would be 10, so 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, now the throw was 20 metres, in two seconds. I'll just pop a little across there and the dog the distance was 30 meters in eight seconds. So I'll pop a little across there. Now if we connect that up to the origin using a ruler we can see that the throw was 10 meters per second which is fast and you can see that is a steep line on the distance time graph 
and this one when the dog was just returning the ball it was a little bit slower and you can see that the slope is not as steep so we can see a steep slope equals fast and a flatter slope equals slow and that is how to take care of business thank you very much and goodbye for now yeah Daniel go and have a look at this did you see what I did wrong in that video when I was doing my graph I said 10 but I wrote 9 yeah I'll put it right <laughs> Hey, that's all right.